Hi, this is Arlene, and today I'm going to show you how to make the foundation double crochet. You ever have one of those projects where it is required for you to make a hundred or even sometimes 200 plus chains in order for you to insert uh, a, a, a double crochet in each chain? Um, it's not fun. It's not the fun part of crocheting. I know what that's like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make, uh, how to make double crochets as you're making the chain or as you're making the amount of double crochets that you need. You can keep repeating this process if the project requires a hundred chains you can keep repeating this process a hundred times and there's no going back to uh, insert double crochets into your chains because you're building it as you go along so we're going to start with our loop and we're going to chain two In our first loop here, we're going to build our first stitch. We're going to release one, release two, and release two. And I made my first stitch right there. Now, in the stitch that we just made, we're going to make our next one. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook, and you notice I picked up both of the loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, yarn over, release two loops. I just made those two stitches. Right here is where we're going to build our next one. This is the stitch I just finished making. We're going to yarn over and we're going to insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, yarn over, release two loops, and that's all there is to it. And look, I have three stitches already. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, yarn over, release two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook. I picked up both of my loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, release two loops. And we're going to keep up this process until we get all of the amount of stitches that the pattern requires. You might see it curving a little bit, but that's okay. That gets better. It doesn't stay that way.
yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, yarn over, release two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, release one loop, release two loops, release two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, release one loop, yarn over, release two loops, yarn over, release two loops. Okay, so now we're going to continue crocheting on our double crochet foundation chain. And what, we'd got, wanna, what we're going to do is we're going to continue our double crochets the way we normally would. Here's how we finish our stitch. That's how we were building our foundation. Now we're going to chain three. We're going to flip our work around and we're going to crochet our double crochets the way we normally would. This would be considered your first double crochet and your next stitch will be here. And now we start building our regular double crochets.
And here we are coming to the end of our row. And this is our last double crochet of the row. Now you can tell the difference. The reason why I like making my foundations this way is because when you make it with the long chains and then you insert your stitches into the chain, there's not enough stretch at the chain. It's sort of, I don't know, it makes it tight. With these uh, methods of making the foundation chains, it's more flexible and it stretches much easier than when you making the long chain. So I hope this video was very helpful and um, stay tuned for our next video.